Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh-huh, And if uh-huh. your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics hey, hey. RealFansRealTalk.com Got it, uh, they got uh, the hottest bloggers Did Jeremy Lin hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest yeah, yeah. Go check out the archive even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk. Dot com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Dot com. Real fans, real talk. Dot com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. What's going on? Welcome back to another live episode of Real Fans, Real Talk. Oh man, it's been a good week, and we got some very special guests that's gonna be joining us. Y'all see the, the trophy on the on the table right there? That means that we got the winner of the first ever slam dunk contest to go down at Balling for Peace. So we're gonna talk about that in a minute. We got Maxwell Pierce in the building, and of course we got Mr. Balling for Peace in the building himself. They're gonna join us a little bit later, but before we jump into that, jump into you know my main man LeBron with his you know one hand photo off the, the glass, you know, the game winners and sweeps and the Yankees doing their thing. Let me introduce my co-host, the one and only Mark the Stat Man Scavage. What's going on, man? Great to be back for another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. As you mentioned, the Yankees doing great. Basketball, you got the Eastern Western Conference Finals approaching. A lot going on in the world of sports. I'm excited. But uh, before we get into that, Mr. Legend in two games, a.k.a. Mr. Game of Thrones, Eric Sanchez himself. What's going on? It's Thursday night, man. So, you know, we got a lot to get into as you talked about the matchup we want to see out west. As much as I hate to admit it, man, the damn Yankees are hot, man. They really like really, <laughs> Back at really first hot. where they belong. <laughs> yeah, they hot right of, now. Speaking of sweeps, uh, you mentioned LeBron uh, with the sweep. The Yankees looking for the sweep against the Red Sox that tonight. Is true. That is that is very true. They they won uh, the first two games. Um, I mean, the best way possible <laughs> that you could win those games. No fights uh, in this uh, in this uh, series, but uh, the Yankees are looking to close out tonight. They're actually playing the Red Sox right now at Yankee Stadium, so we'll update you guys on the scores uh, throughout the show. But, um, I mean, the Yankees, man, those, those guys are hitting us. Those young guys, Glayball came up. You know, he hit a, a walk-off the other day. And then, of course, you got, you know, Sanchez, Judge. Didi is playing amazing right now. And uh, Stanton, you know, after his, uh, you know, his uh, strikeouts early on, he's finally starting to settle down and, and – play some good baseball. He had two home runs the other day uh, against the, the Red Sox, which really helped us out. I mean, the Yankees is looking good. Uh, Eric, would you come on, man. What's up? No, nah, no, nah, but I, I I did say even before the season in my in my video blog that um I thought they were the second best team in baseball. The lineup is, is living up to everything we thought they would be. Um, they were who we thought they were. They, as, they as are the who we single. thought they would be. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they've looked really good. And, I mean, it's not just the, the winning streak. I mean, they went to Anaheim and they took care of Anaheim when they were hot. Yeah. They went and took three out of four from Houston, you know, mm-hmm. and I, to me, Houston is the best team in baseball. And now they're about to complete the sweep of the Red Sox. Uh, Yankees are hot, man. They look like beat they up on Cleveland, uh, yeah, beat up on Cleveland as well. So Yankees are hot. They're doing their thing. And despite the fact that they've got some some holes in their rotation, the offense is just so powerful, man. Yeah. And thank God for the Yankees because the Giants sucked this year. The Knicks sucked this year. The Rangers didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> the Knicks sucked almost uh, your whole life. Well, I season. mean, so that's, that's they, they have their mo- they at least yeah. make the playoffs sometimes. And on that note, Leanne, <laughs> can we uh, – <laughs> Can we drown away our sorrows this is why as we this, discuss the Knicks? This is why, I mean, you, I mean, listen. You we don't need to get into the Knicks. We're talking yeah. baseball I, now. Yeah, Trey. but I thought you were. I'm, 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 just, I'm just talking about how they suck. Wait, That's it. No, you had said. I also mentioned the I, Giants suck too. We I don't thought need that to get was into it. no, no. I thought that was my cue to like you know talk about. I mean, no, no, no it really was. Let me though. look. I will say this about the Knicks though, and this is actually you know positive. Don't say anything about the. Knicks. I'm just you this is positive. No, you know I want to you know send a shout out. Porzingis might not play. No, no, no. To to Ennis Cantor, you know he made his little his. Video, you know, tweeting he wanted LeBron 
on the show. He was the king of New York and whatnot. So shout out to you know to to Ennis Cancer. Y'all don't y'all shout do, him out. Can somebody take his phone? Can y'all somebody making, take his phone? Y'all making big moves though. Y'all, y'all you know. Well, since we're mixing <laughs> basketball and baseball <laughs> together, I guess it's the perfect opportunity for a fan mail question because we had Jacob from Queens right in. Who do you guys think? Was the more overhyped New York athlete Matt Harvey or Carmelo Anthony? Oh, um, that's easy. Yeah, it's Matt Harvey, Matt Harvey for <laughs> easy. sure. Uh, I mean, well, at least Carm- at least what I can say about Harvey is he actually did uh, help the team get to a World Series. No, he didn't. Mello, Not really. I mean, no, he, he wasn't didn't. a huge well, factor in that. I'm a Mets fan. He didn't well, help. What was Melo? What did Melo do? Did for, he do anything? Melo played he won a scoring title. Melo <laughs> played. Oh, okay, he, okay, he, he brought him back yeah, to the but, playoffs. Okay. But, but let's, let's be realistic. Melo played but. with a flawed roster here in New York. The year that we went to the World Series, Matt Harvey was actually going to shut himself down because he had reached a certain limit on innings. <laughs> He did not help us. That was Syndergaard, DeGrom, Cespedes came over in the trade that year and really propelled us to the World Series. That's He's not even the, debate. So, who, right, so he barely so, even had any. So out of the two yeah, worst real, uh, New York teams, the Knicks and the Mets, who do you guys think is like the worst? That Knicks, the bottom? easily. So it's definitely the Knicks, that man. I'm just, I mean, I'm just trying to figure this thing out. Recently, yeah. As okay. far as the franchise is right, no, yeah. concerned, sure. I'm a fan of both, but... Yeah. It's, it's not even competitive. The Mets have a, at least been a playoff team. Okay. So it's definitely the Knicks are definitely worse. The Knicks have been to the playoffs okay. one time in 13 years, right? I know. Right? I just want to listen. I'm trying to, 15 you know, years, 13 yeah. years, right? I just want to be twice, clear on this no? thing. Twice, no? Did they? Melo got there twice. W- twice? I know they had less. Well, with, with, the year, sorry, the, the with, year. Mello, with Mello, we went, the three year, we went three years in a row. Before yeah. then, we okay. had gone 15 years without making the playoffs that's, at all. That's true. And how many okay. years without winning the championship? No, uh, anybody with a Both Le- teams Le- have Le- two Le- championships. Le- Le- no, please. but the, the Mets have one, like in '86, right? The Mets yeah, won that's in more recent. In '86. '86. And the, and the, so for the Knicks is what? Uh, so, you know what it is. 45, 45 years now, I think it is. Thank you, Leanne. Like <laughs> Thank you, Leanne. Such Did you make mine a double since we started talking about the Knicks? All right. Cool. All right, you know what? Listen, all right, because we got a whole lot to get to. All right, you know, we all met Matt Harvey right now. Uh, they wanted to designate him to AAA. <laughs> he didn't want to do that. So they, they wound up finding a trade for him. They did get a catcher out of the, out of the deal. Uh, what, what do you think about the catcher that they brought in? Uh, Devin Mar- Mar- uh, Mezzarosco, <laughs> solid player, but injury prone. He's really a fill-in now because uh, we don't have a catcher at this he point. He did make the All-Star team a couple of years ago. Uh, that, three that seasons ago, yeah. yeah. Around the same time Harvey was making All-Star teams before yeah, but, but, before Harvey started flirting with his inner Lamar Odom. Yeah. Um, he wasn't that bad, though. He, didn't, he was getting close. He, yeah, but he, he was getting close. Him in like you know in a in a whorehouse or anything like that. Pat Stout. Do you they forget didn't. last year there was a game that he didn't show up to the park and we sent team reps to his to his condo. That is true. That is true. He was still in a road with two chicks. Well, he forgot we had a game that day. He's all right, but he's not your problem anymore. So it's all good. Thank God. Uh, but um, Devin a, a fill in, but he, he he won't be a difference maker. But it's all right. We had to get rid of Matt Harvey. I think it was just kind of a dark cloud over the team for the last year and a half. Can the Mets turn it around? Because absolutely, still, it was still early. Absolutely, we could turn it around. I mean, it, my biggest concern for this team was the injuries this year, and it's starting to you know poke out again with yeah. Degrom, uh, Cespedes with the hip. Todd Frazier, so they've got to stay healthy. More than enough time. There's still more than 120 games left in the season, so there's more than enough time. But they've got to yeah. be healthy first and foremost. All right. Well, listen, we're gonna wait and see. Like I said, we'll update you guys on what's going on uh, with the Yankees and the Red Sox right now. And uh, but we 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 got our, our balling for peace family in the building. And again, you know, we had the the first ever dunk contest go down this year at the fourth annual uh, Balling for Peace celebrity charity basketball game. Y'all know all of the stars came out. Uh, Fat Boy was there. Mr. Commodore, or should I say Fresh Out, he came out <laughs> to play ball. Cayenne, Jaquay, Webstar. Uh, so many celebs were in the building for the game. It was packed out. Um, I think the, the, the most important part about Bowling for Peace for me, though, was earlier in the day uh, with the Knicks. Ron had the, the Knicks camp come out working with the kids, training them. You guys know the work that he does in the community because, you know, we talk about it all the time because we're, we're definitely proud of what Ron does, you know, with our youth and for the community as a whole. Um, so we're going we're gonna to get to this dunk contest. Again, it was won by uh, Maxwell Pierce. He, he definitely came through. Um, Put you on know, the show. Y'all, y'all, you Put know, on we've been show. posting up the clips on uh, on on the IG. Um, so he, yeah, he definitely put on the show. That last dunk was uh, was something spectacular. 
Uh, so he's going to be joining us in a minute as well as H2O. But we're going to let you guys see, you know, what went down at the dunk contest, how Maxwell made it to the to the finals and uh, the dunk that he that he took. He did to take home the, the, the trophy, the money, the cash money, uh, the, the, the gift card from uh, from Sneaker Bar. Uh, oh, man, the sophisticated mind study he got like it was definitely a dope event. Uh, big shout out again to everyone that uh, that helped us to. To put the dunk contest together again, Sneaker Bar out in the Bronx, uh, the Rosado Firm uh, in Manhattan. Big shout out to those guys over there, and of course, Balling for Peace for letting us join in and, and try to do something different this year for the you know for the basketball game. It was a huge success, I would say so. I think the the consensus was that the dunk contest was crazy, and I think everybody is is looking forward now to uh, to it coming to the the fifth annual. Balling for Peace uh, basketball game, so we're gonna we're gonna be working with Haran this year and seeing how we can make it bigger and better. Um, but as soon as you guys y'all say we ready with the video in the in the back, we gonna uh, rock and roll. It's your net. Talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond tripped young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asian mm -hmm. to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro. Two guys or one? Welcome back. That was actually some uh, game footage. Uh, you guys saw Maxwell. You were in that in that footage as well, uh, guarding the, the the seven foot cheat code. As I just, <laughs> I just I changed his name. That's a big shout out to Shigari. Uh, he's definitely a friend of the of the show. But I changed his name from Skyscraper to Cheat Code because it's just not fair when he's on the court. I think and and I noticed Aron. He's always on your team. <laughs> okay, so I think there's something going on. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. what, what, what's going? What's up, Aron? What, like you talked to? The, are you stacking the deck? I mean, with him, <laughs> I'd rather have him on my team than not on my team. So. You know what? I can understand. I'm not even You got to find you. another seven plus yeah, footer to I mean, even five, things five, out. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe, maybe Yao Ming will come out of retirement. Yeah, or something. Right. Yeah. New Bowl, yeah. Sean Bradley. They're a little Greg older, Sean but. Bradley or somebody like that. Greg Ostertag. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Took a back. Don't bring Ostertag. George Mirror's <laughs> on. Yeah. Man. Don't bring Greg Ostertag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olin Polynesia. Yeah, get one, get one of those seven footers out because that's not fair. I mean, this is the, the the fourth time. At least I would say this. Uh, you know, Shigar, he didn't play in the in the football game. He was out there at the yeah. last football game. I asked him if he was gonna play. He said, "Nah, you know, he's gonna take some time off." Because that's kind of unfair too. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, as a wide receiver, I mean, come on, that's it. who you like? Yeah, who's gonna, who's I, I wouldn't have him. Yeah. I, I don't think in the football. I don't think I need him. Yeah, because you know, cause, you know, I throw seven <laughs> touchdowns and stuff like that. Yeah, you did. Well, you had the, the stat yeah, man there too. Yeah, so no, no. <laughs> yeah, that too. You know, but my shoot Odell shoot Beckham one-handed catches. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I well. hit him up. I hit up do a uh, few times. I don't know. Um, I know he's kind of busy with his uh, 
his car he opened up a um mm -hmm. Uh, he has like a, a detailing, car, a yeah. Car wash. Yeah, I mm -hmm. see. He was out there. He was uh, barbecuing for the kids. Uh, yeah, 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 not too, yeah. A couple so days ago, shout out to him. His dad grill. came through. Um, we're actually gonna. I'm putting my my boys, my H2O basketball boys, into his father's tournament, uh, TMP tournament out in Far Rockaway, Stack nice. Bundle tournament. So we're gonna be doing that this summer as well too. So shout out to him. That's what it is, mm -hmm. man. So all right. So we got we got to go to this. We got to talk about this dunk contest. Oh, yeah. Because they say this is the dunk contest at Boiling for Peace. It says the biggest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> right? That's what, I, that's what I, the word I got back. Now, Maxwell, you came to this thing. You traveled from, from upstate, not too far upstate, mm -hmm. but you came down. You know, uh, you chopped it up with Leanne before. You know, you were very confident going into this thing. But once the, the lights go off and everybody's circling around you and the pressure's on, what's going through your mind before that first dunk? Um, I, I would say to pretty much redeem myself from the NCAA dunk contest. I'm not sure if you got to see that this year, but um, I was lucky enough to participate. That was on ESPN. It was in San Antonio. Um, and I came in third. And I, I kind of got butted out by a Twitter vote. So wow. the, there was four judges. Um, I, was, I was in the finals with the judge votes. And then I got butted out off of Twitter. So the, the only thing in my mind was just to redeem myself and, and show everyone what I, I really had for the last round. So the last dunk in this contest was the last dunk that I was going to do in the NCAA dunk contest. That's what I don't like with any of the fan voting with even yeah. the professional one because that's popularity whether, yeah. Yeah. you know, you know yeah, that's why yeah. it's a good thing that LeBron didn't join the dunk contest because he would win no matter what mm -hmm. he did. Like, you know, there's pros and cons when you have the big yeah, names. Yeah, you can't leave it up it's to the true. fans. It's true. And um, the, the two guys that, that um, went to the finals of the NCAA dunk contest were both from Texas. And it was in uh, San Antonio. Cool. So oh, yeah. okay. So yeah, yeah. I mean, we home know court advantage, is. home court yeah, advantage. So, yeah. I mean, it's real cheap so it's all good. Yeah, 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 it's all good. Basically, but you know what? There were what I, uh, you know, shout out to the NCAA, but you know, they ain't paying those boys yet. So you want the dunk right. contest that matters, right? Right. Okay. There you go. This, this is the one that matters. <laughs> the that unbiased the dunk contest. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he looked at, when he won. He looked at it like you know. And I get money too. Like, yeah. like oh my god! Forgot. Did you see that picture? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I watched the video. Picture. You can see it all in the video. I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know that there was money involved. Yeah. I just that, thought it was the trophy. Yeah, well, just, yeah, just so y'all know. And then every time I turned, it was more stuff yeah, coming we, out. Yeah, here's <laughs> some Listen, more stuff. We went in for it. We was the first one, so we yeah. wanted to make sure that the you know whoever won this thing, they mm -hmm. they got taken care of. Facts. And um, you said that you were up at Sneaker Ball already. You picked up something from Sneaker Ball. So shout out to them, but that's what we wanted, you know, Haran. I mean, we were just the talking trophy, about the trophy. Yeah. The trophy is dope. Oh, oh, all my man. time, shout out to all my time uh, trophies. My boy Kenny, we used to play ball together when we since we was in high school and stuff, and he ha he now has a, a trophy company that he's been doing mm -hmm. the Ball for Peace trophies for four years now. Yeah. So like every year, you know, I keep it in the family. Like even no, with you guys, I always make sure I come on uh, on your show and make sure that we always that's talk about fact. new and fresh ideas. So when you brought up that dunk dunk contest. I was like, oh, that would be a good idea. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that actually made but me seeing think, it now yeah, and yeah, having you know? it play out is just like yeah. it's just crazier <laughs> than the only thing I think we just would have to do like the original just five judges. Yeah, it kinda, it, the it calculation kind of like yeah, that's yeah. when we all yeah. like uh people yeah. in there like I think it was, uh, calculator you know what it was though everybody got too excited though. <laughs> yeah, it was because the moment we started to set up at center court, then it was like everybody wanted to be a part of it. Yeah, yeah, everybody. We gotta have the table next year. That's what it is. The table sit down, the high chairs. So you know, if you're not sitting in one of those chairs behind the table, that's it. Your your thing don't count. You like a fan in the crowd. Exactly. So. But it, it definitely worked out good. I, I, I really wish that, uh, shout out to Evan Bartlett, I wish in the first round he would have made, made that dunk. made that dunk, yeah. Because you would have asked, uh, I, you know, in the finals, it would have been, you know, if he had made that one, yeah. I think he would definitely got to the final. Because I know I was going to give him a 10 on that dunk yeah. if he had made he, that dunk. That, that should have gotten 11. And he's the, he's the, he's the, he's the, the shortest out of you guys five, as well. Five, six, five, yeah. seven. Yeah. And he definitely, uh, he definitely got some hops. Yeah. But shout out to everybody who uh, was in the dunk contest, uh, Joe. Um, Mike Kaufman, all, all you guys did a did an amazing job, mm -hmm. but there can be only one winner, only one <laughs> and that was Maxwell Pierce. So you know what? But, you got your trophy here. You might as well make your acceptance uh, speech right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the folks at home how you came, you saw, you conquered, and you're coming back next year, taking on all challenges. So mm -hmm. definitely coming back next year. But um, I mean, it's actually funny how I got here. I was, I've just been on my timeline the week. Uh, no, a couple of weeks before the event happened, and I kept seeing Bowling for Peace, Bowling for Peace, Bowling for Peace. And then, so I reached out to H2O, and I was like, um, can I be a part of it? Can yeah. I be a part of the dunk contest? 
And so that's pretty much how I got in. It wasn't it wasn't the other way around. Yeah, yeah. He he had hit me up. A lot of people uh, you know, hit hit me up. My boy White Iverson from California. I played against him in um well I played actually we played in the, the Battle of the Brands at the VBL mm -hmm. where I had me and Filet was on the same team and um I Congrats him. to him because he yeah. uh at Born for Peace. Yeah, he, he proposed he, uh, he got mad he oh, proposed. Yeah. First time in New York, got married, won MVP. Even though the basket didn't count, you know, he... Uh, <laughs> no, nah, that was definitely after the was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on that team. And, yeah, I was on that team, like, and I, I know it. I so know I'm know like, it, yo, but it. it was a good time, you know what I mean? And it wouldn't have worked. Uh, he had reached out to me and told me that he wanted to propose to his girl. And I almost forgot about the whole thing with the whole thing with me. Because yeah. they surprised me for my birthday and all that. And, and yeah. Me crying and all that other stuff. I'm like, oh, then we have to propose that. So it was like, yo, memories for a lifetime for uh, yeah. that event. You, you know, you, you, you topped it. You topped just. You, yeah, you know, you, this one it was yo, just it was, it was amazing, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody enjoyed themselves, packed out Absolutely. again. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talked about this before going into the event. We it was actually a perfect day outside. Yeah, I finally got for, some, for nice once. Weather. It was not a crazy thunderstorm, yo, snowstorm. Like yeah, yo, it's, something. Every year before this, it's like either mm -hmm. it was a snowstorm the first year, right? Um, <laughs> like two days before. Yep. So we still like snow outside. I didn't even know if the venue was gonna let us do it. Mm -hmm. That was at the first year at Baruch. Yeah. The second year at your college, it was a cr another crazy snowstorm to where on that day we could not even do it. We had to push it back two weeks. Yeah. Right then, last year, I was supposed to do it somewhere else. They, you know, something mm -hmm. happened where I we couldn't do it year. and pushed it back two months. And that's when the so rain the, came. The rain, and then, then, <laughs> <Poor> <laughs> and rain. then yeah. I put the it on the next came day. That day. And then it rained from 8 o'clock in the morning all the way to 4 a.m. the next day. Yeah. Like, and it so was still like, packed out. And it was still packed out, but at the end of the day, <laughs> was, I'm like, yo, what is it? And this year was the first year. A beautiful that was yep. a mm. great day. Yeah, yeah, right. Yo, the whole week I was like, yo, I was looking at the forecast. It said it was good, like 60. I'm like, great. And every day leading up to it, I'm like, yo, it's raining leading up to it. I'm like, yo, I hope it's still like, you know, that's nice a, weather. But it was good. Um, by God's grace, everything went well. And, um, you know, added on a couple of things. Shout out to the New York Knicks. Um, mm -hmm. They did a free clinic for the kids. John um, Wallace came over, out. Over, for over, um, 100 kids there, you know, um, John Wallace came crazy. out and um, shout out to their organization. You know, I, I used to work with them and and uh, that was pretty good that they came out and did what they had to do with the kids. And um, that was pretty dope. And uh, shout out to you guys for implementing the dunk contest. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the people who flew in. Yeah, uh, we had somebody take a private all, all jet. jet and, yeah. uh, somebody took Marcus. the PJ? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marcus, I don't want to botch his last name up, but he knows who he is. He took a private jet out here. To That's come and play the game. He was number 13 on my team. Too, those Silky yeah. Sock, yeah. Silky Cali, those made guys. custom yeah. socks. I got them all right now. Shout, Shout out, out to Wooter. So oh, oh. Where is it? Do I have it? Oh. And um, Ice Guard, they made me a personal mouthpiece. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, wow, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you posted that. Respect Hold on, we go, hold oh, it up. We're going to get a close-up on that. Let yeah, us Just yeah, let yeah. us know when, when, when y'all ready. We definitely got to get a close-up for the people at home yeah, so they can see that because yeah. that, that joint is fire. Yeah, I've been wearing them in games and all that. Yep, so it got me. Mm. That's respect crazy. Shooter, my favorite number, number three, and they still basketball on That's that. crazy. So, yeah, you can get that. Uh, they actually make Floyd Mayweather's mouthpieces and stuff, too. Okay. Shout-out to them for that. Shout out to everybody who came out, man. Yeah, I felt his like mouthpiece is yeah. mad expensive. I yeah, how much it's, it's a, it costs a lot, but you know, shout out to them. No, that's that. and Wooter, it's, 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 Wooter, it's, it's, it's uniforms. H2O. Come on, man. yes, beautiful yeah. uniforms yeah. made by Wooter. On, on, on point, point. Yeah. 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 All his Michaels played with his shades all on for the second straight again. year. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to all yo, we, yo, all this is a, a real dude, man. He he always calls me, and then um, you know, he called me and said. <laughs> How does it feel to be a legend? Like, you know, the next day just called me like, "Yo, you the legend." And she said, "You could run. You should run for uh, the uh, the office for uh, Queens yeah. councilman and all." I'm like, "Yo, you're listen, crazy, that, that might have to be the next step, man. Maybe one day, man. You know, that's, not right now. I would need listen, a little more fun. Man. Don't look past it, though. It might that might be your calling. You never you're right, know. You're, right, you're already you're right. working in the community. You know, doing your thing, and it's not an easy task. It's not." It's not, you know, so you already got that, that in you, you know, listen, that might be your calling. So you I, I honestly feel like a lot of things that I do for the community, um, they're not being done by the people who are in those positions. So it's yes. like, That's what's you know, my background is what it is. And 
um, you know, those people can be doing these things. But you know, you know, some, some people just like to collect the checks. Collect the checks and just sit there. <laughs> so, and you know, when you call mm -hmm. on them, nothing happens. Yeah. But, you know, um, shout out to uh, Francisco Moya who came out, um, and you know, we did the proclamation through him and through his office, uh, District um, Twenty One, mm -hmm. and we honored my um, one of my mentors, Mr. Charles Coleman. Mm -hmm. um, that was good. I saw him the other. I saw him the other day. And, you know, just gave me a big hug and, you know, he, he held back some tears and stuff. But that's that's something that, you know, um, that I wanted to do, you know, what I mean, for yeah. him and um, let him know that, you know, uh, it means a lot. A lot of people do things for people when they're no longer here. Yeah. And that's like that's whack. Like, you know, what I mean, yeah. oh, I love this person loved like mm -hmm. why you mm -hmm. love them well, now. One, one so my why not say, give me my flowers while mm -hmm. I'm here. Well, I'm here. Let you me know? smell them things, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um. You know, I appreciate people like Max coming through and mm -hmm. doing this thing and not just, you know, some people try to... My, the whole thing with Balling for Peace is no Hollywood stuff. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. come there and just have a good time, you know? Mm -hmm. it, you, you'll feel fake being fake at Balling for Peace. You'll yeah. feel weird. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's not, not that interesting. It's, it's like, <laughs> you don't got to be running the red car. Yo, I'm doing... No, at all. man. Get it's that out of here. Because, like, you know, like, every celeb that's there is having, having fun. fun. Absolutely. And no one does that anymore. Yeah. You go to these events. I go to these events with these lists and all this other stuff. And it's like, yo, you sit over here and everybody be mingling yeah. and everything at Boiling for Peace. Yep. You can walk around, ain't no, like, no chains and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you, you, you come and you have a good time. You it's know, we never had no, no, no issues, no problems, no beefs, no nothing. So that when the uh, Fat Boy and um, Queens oh, Flip oh. was doing something, I thought it was, I'm like, yo, come on, man. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I ain't know, you know, but they, they do the <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, they yeah. planned that like, out. yo, not at Bowling for Peace, man. Yeah. You know that, <laughs> How you so gonna that, do that at Bowling for Peace? Yeah, like, so, that's why I was like, yo, Flip, come on, man. But uh, it, was, it, was, it was straight, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that's what they do, you know, yeah. but um, it was good. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely uh, a dope event. And I think uh, we come we coming back around to uh, to football. We're gonna do football too. Now. I'm already looking at the uh, the spot we're gonna do the Verizon and football field. I've been reaching out to them. Okay. Again, I love that. I love that view, man. Yeah. Underneath that the Manhattan a, Bridge, a, a dope spot. You know, it's pretty dope. Um, this year, you know, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna reach out to the NFL to, to do the uh, free like how I did with the the basketball, do a free clinic for the uh, okay. the Pee Wee League mm -hmm. and stuff, yeah. just for the kids too. And then do the um and then do the the, the celebrity That'll game. That'll be you know what I mean. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So we definitely looking looking forward uh yeah. forward to that. Mm -hmm. I, I want to submit my uh combine tape to try to be in the game. <laughs> <laughs> my combine tape. Let's make it happen, bro. Yo, that was oh. a dope interview you did, by the way. We, um we did when you came. Through. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was I mean, really dope, man. You blessed us, and we still yeah. chopping up some footage on there. Yeah, but yeah, you always you always hard. looking out for us, man. We appreciate yeah. that, man. You but, know. You know, some things sometimes you capture different things. You know, when you talk to somebody so much, you you uh, sometimes you don't you can go around in circles talking about the same stuff, but you uh, kind of actually got some things. You know, talking about my mom and just you know, yeah. And, and that's uh, that's a very big part of my life that a lot of people don't get to. Know, they don't know, like yeah. you know what I mean. They don't know my basketball background a lot. Some of them know just now what I'm doing, yeah. you know, and don't really know how how much basketball played a part of my life. You know what I mean? So. Um, you know, I like I can like I like to point out great interviews or really good interviews and stuff like that. And um, you know, like you y'all you talk we talk all the time, yes. you know what I'm saying? So you like my boy, you know what I mean? This ain't even this is like yeah, homie. This stuff, was you know was a feeling that we've been doing this uh, yeah. a long time. A long time, time now, some so. years, man. Just it's, thinking back at it. Yeah. But. So now look, I do you know, it is it is basketball season, so we do gotta talk some basketball right now. Um we got Houston, Golden State in the West. And uh, Boston and uh, my main man, King James, in the East. <laughs> uh, you know, LeBron, I noticed, like I said, I, I want to hear you speak on LeBron and see, you know, how you felt about his play, you know, as, you know, this season, you know, 82 games in the regular season coming in. You know, they took it to game seven with Indiana and then now going in, they sweep it's Toronto. Sweeping. But like I said, with the, with the, you know, with this one here off the glass, you know, bank shot and they come, you know, it's, it's a lot of things been going on with LeBron. Yeah. So I just want to know. You know, how you My feeling thoughts? about about King James? King, don't call him King. <laughs> well, but hold on, hold on, though. Aron, I mean, from from the times, obviously, you, you family to the show. Yeah. Every time Aron has been here, he spoke highly of, of LeBron. Yeah, that could just, you know, you know, it's like... But even, all right, even, even when we, when <laughs> we, obviously, <laughs> with the other sit-down we had, uh -huh. same thing. Because... So, 
because you know it took some time though to get first. Oh, I see what it is. You know he tried. He, he, <laughs> since he you know go back like 2011. Yeah, yeah. we go. Yeah, so, so like, it's like, like he's kind of like he, broken he you down all this. Yeah. Down yeah. Yeah. When I was like yo mellow, yeah. yo yeah, yo we nicks and all that. To now, like it's like yo, I'm like. I'm like a LeBron right, fan. He can't, he earned it. He did. You know, like for me, um, for to be in your fifteenth season and yeah. to be having your best season ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I feel crazy. like this is his best season of all time. Mm-hmm. Like in year fifteen, and they did the, they did the side by side or like the height by height when he did the the windmill this year and the windmill when yeah. he was eighteen. It was the same like height and like yo, yeah. dude. That I know how much that you know, yeah. you know. He's, what got, a lot of, like, he's got, got a lot of he's got a lot of miles, miles yeah. on, on, on his, his body. And, like, a million really, and a half a year, I guess. Is one one point, <laughs> it's enough. It's <laughs> more than enough. But like that just yeah. goes to show you about technology and mm-hmm. the pursuit of greatness. Like yeah. you know what I mean for certain people, like because everybody can afford well, that. Everybody elite. can afford it, but they're not doing it. Ex- yeah, exactly. Like, mm-hmm. Mello looks like he's like. Yeah, he's running on sticks. Well, the yeah. diet has a lot to do with that. Yeah, you look at the Tom Brady diet. Bars. You gotta take yeah. care of yourself, what oh. you put in your body, and everything. Mm-hmm. And I mean, he played all eighty-two games this year. That's the one thing that yeah. Jordan did pretty much every season. And you talk about generations, how people like told that. her like or whatever. <laughs> like we talked about, what <laughs> you see where it's going right? already. Yeah. You see where it's going but, already, man. Nah, Jordan did that pretty much every season, <laughs> but um. Oh. Yeah. No, nah, but that wasn't really meant for. Yes, it was. No, but no, yeah, I guess it <laughs> was. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> no, nah, but honestly, LeBron, I, it, it's, it's subconscious um, hate. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's, that's not that's, hate. I mean, that was hate. It was real talk that you said. Exactly. You know, but um, I feel like LeBron, um, I respect him more. Like even with Kobe, I was an AI fan, so it was either AI or Kobe. Growing up, I couldn't be both. So yeah. like I, I rocked with Allen Iverson. So only. Did I rock with Kobe Bryant was in his later years? Like, yo, he's he's still doing it. He's he still earned, he's he earned. still earn, he ain't mm-hmm. earning. Like LeBron, he's he's phenomenal, man. Like, and and to take the team that he has, and he he's pushing people to get to another level. Yeah. If he could somehow, I don't know how, but if he can somehow win a this year's championship, that'd be like. You know the I icing mean, on the cake. Well, if he, if he, we just talking about that, yeah. yeah. If if he has, if he manages to beat Golden State this they're, year, they're, they're, a healthy Golden uh, State. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't right care now. if they're healthy or not. I'm, I'm just well, yeah. they're healthy right now. But I'm yeah. talking, they go to the finals, they lose two of their four guys. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, but that happened with Kyrie and, but, and Kevin Love that, that year. Yeah. LeBron yeah. had to go yeah. in average forty and still, you know, they lost in six games. But if he does that. I mean, you you got to at least, you know, put them neck and neck because you're talking about four players in the top 20 basically <laughs> versus LeBron. Four, yeah, that, that four goes, superstars, mm-hmm. two, you know, t- two players, you know, maybe in the, in the top five, depending on, you know, where, where you have them, have them ranked at with, with Durant and Curry and then, you know, Clay and Draymond, defensive player of the year. You know, if, if LeBron could somehow manage to beat that team, you you kind of you gotta change the argument up. He's gotta be yeah. there with Jordan. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, I don't I don't even like the argument to be I honest. I don't. It's, they're two different players. Yeah, man. They're it, two not, different not players. Not only that, man, I just, errors. Errors. I mean, ever plays a big part of it. Tripp and I True. were talking about this, and I'm like, when you go back and watch the highlights, the way the game was played, right? Mm-hmm. We were talking about Mike winning championship games, 91 to 89, slow pace, yeah. grind it out very physical the paint was clogged up because yeah. you didn't have the three-point shooters you have and that's not a knock on lebron i'm just saying the era is completely different yeah. so the way they playing is different lebron if lebron Big played during that, that era like lebron would have been forced to play with his back to the basket exactly. like like even with steph curry his dad Del- dale curry was a great shooter yeah, yeah. probably better than his son yeah. but at the end his, but his dad couldn't really he w- he couldn't become a star because yeah. Too physical. They yeah. bump him. They push him. Yeah. That league. It, he, he was considered a specialist. That's a fact. Yeah. Then he became like a, a, a Steve Kerr. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying Kerr knows this. Exactly. Yeah. Kerr played with Mike, so Kerr knows that. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. LeBron is Michael Jordan. To me, he didn't beat. see Jordan crying a lot either. About yeah, him, but he didn't. Know. Yeah. So Jordan, to a lot of people <laughs> who play, habits die hard. At that time, is the most feared player and the most. He's the best player that they've ever seen. Like. I, I, watching games, mm-hmm. I used to go, I knew the Bulls were going to win. I didn't even, that was my favorite team. So it was like, the Bulls are yeah. going to win. I never feared any other team as a kid. Like with, with Cleveland, 
people don't fear LeBron like they fear Correct. Jordan. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They really think they can beat him. And now, you know, they're doing something. I don't I don't even think if Barkley and all them dudes got on the same team back in the day, they still wouldn't beat Mike. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because Mike was just it was, I just, it was like a un, yeah. like a godly yeah, thing. Like I was, just think people like well, we also forget had Scotty too. Scotty but, too. But, yeah, but not even like we forget, right? Because now we we're able to just we know the story, right? But we forget that when Mike came in the league. Haran, would you like a drink as well? I don't know if you're, if you're, you're training right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, actually. But, you know, if, if you're on vacation, it's all good for the day. Yeah, but, but I'll show you on vacation. Yeah, I, I am training for the TBT this year. I'm going to get back into the uh, $2 million tournament. Mm -hmm. um, where, uh, the team is called Queen Struggle. Um, oh, wow. One, some, some one of my dudes actually asked me to play. Like, I was. The first two years we got into it, got into the tournament. Um, and that's not a, you know, that's, that's, you know, I, we was one of the first teams in New York to ever even get into the TBT tournament before yeah. everybody knew about it. But now everybody, it's on ESPN, everybody knows about it and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I pride myself in finding new things that's going on and, and being the first to do a lot of the stuff. So um, after my second year that we did it, we got a buy and we went into Atlanta and played in Atlanta. I had rented two, two minivans and stuff and only five players came. Mm. So the other five didn't come and didn't show. So I was like, yo, after this, I I'm not going to do it no more. Like, it takes a lot of time because you got to get votes. You got to get in shape, you know. And I was running the beach, doing all this other stuff. I was in great, phenomenal shape at that time. And then it was like, you know, you know, that was demoralizing to me. So last year, I yeah. didn't do it. But one of my boys saw me, like, working out again. And he asked me to uh, play on the team. So now, I'm, you know, I've been doing, like, 6 a.m. workouts with my old coach, Tippy. And um, I actually joined Lifetime Fitness and doing all this stuff. Like, so I'm about to get it in again, you know what I'm saying? I got like two months to get in some real basketball shape. So that's on my journey. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to put the link up there. You got into June 1st to vote for the team. Okay. You vote with email. So you got five, six emails. You Just can vote, vote five, six times. There you go. So, you know so, what I mean? Um, so you, yeah, ready, that's, that's, you ready to get back out there? Yeah, ready to get and out there. And I know um, Maxwell. First of all, congratulations because you know you just uh, graduated and all of that. Thank you, bro. Um, you know, we always <laughs> applaud that you know education. So congrats on that. Congrats, but brother. you about to make another big move uh, right now. It's a team that you about to be. You about to start running with? Can we talk? Can yeah. We let, all right. Well, let the people know where you're gonna be rocking, man. Come on. Um. Yeah. Where you taking your talents? Let the people know where you taking your talents, man. <laughs> Um, nah, start, starting in the fall, I'm going to be running with the Globe Charters. I'm not sure whether it's going to be the international team or just the, the nationwide team. But that's, that's, that's a big what deal, man. Yeah, Absolutely, that's what I'm man. Like, Absolutely, you know, man. Just take care of them knees, man. Yeah, I know, You're a dunker. They're going to try to get you for every exactly. game, man. So that's uh, He might be the first one to do the through the legs, 360, alley-oop, off the arches, off Grimace's head. No, no, no. <laughs> I think, I, listen, I can see it happening. Nothing and then by the that. time you get back to the next year's <laughs> dunk contest, it's going to be over before it starts. I got injured attempting that. So, you know. <laughs> On the baby, I, I kept talking yeah. about. Right. I kept talking about doing the ball for on peace, and then you know, the 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 you know, <laughs> end up getting injured. Yeah. You know, can't have that happen. Yeah, but, yeah. but speaking of the dunk contest, how when you're preparing for a dunk contest, do you know what dunks you're going to do, and do you have like supplemental dunks in case you right. don't pull one off? Uh, you know, the first of this on the first attempt. I mean, I, I kind of try to think of it as like chess. So it's like. I mean, when you when you start a chess game, you you have everything, you have your plan thought out, um, and then as the game goes on, you see what kind of dunks the other contestants that was do. The first round, right there. Yeah. Oh, he actually pulled it up. Oh this yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> depending on on the quick. dunks, the other dunks that are done, um, will kind of determine Decide what you dunk that yeah, you so do. you save the better ones for right, when you need. Right. It. You want to save the best for last, but at the same time, you don't want to come out in the first round. If somebody um, else did something crazy, you right, gotta come right. out with something. You have crazy to match the energy. Too, yeah. Yeah, especially when there's only four people there. Right. So you gotta get into yeah, that final. Right. Yeah. That's what I was gonna ask you, because you guys got to warm up a little bit, so as you're scouting the competition, are you already mm -hmm. knowing like right, yeah. this has gotta be my first dunk? Uh-huh. Cause this guy all right. <laughs> right, right. And then the other thing is like if if you're gonna warm up in front of the crowd, you you have to try and not show what you're gonna yeah, do yeah, in the contest because nice. you're not gonna get the same reaction. That's a Even if you make it. Yeah, because once they say it, that's it. That's yeah. Like, all right, so a, a question for you. Um, I seen you do like dunks where you have to, you, you're running. Do you like those ones better when you can yeah, run the floor? Yeah, off the lob. Yeah, yeah. Off the lob. Because uh -huh. you know, 
because there was a lot of people like surrounding the court at that time. So, yeah, under the basket. I mean, yeah, under the basket and everything <laughs> yeah. like that. So, you know, that's something you got to keep in mind, you know, probably clear, clear the court and stuff mm. like yeah, that. Yeah, because I was going to, I was going to, uh, now this one, Throw. this one right here, right? Well, you jumped over the one dude. So now I'm just I'm I'm putting the challenge out next year. We are gonna have to double that up and mm. and have two dudes, either two dudes or you have to dunk over <laughs> Damn, cheat man. code. You know, Shikari. Well, can he? If it, you think he could dunk over Trip Young and Stat Man, hold the ball up in the middle. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we might have to do that. We're gonna have to you know step. Well, we can't help <laughs> that. that will show bias. Oh, though. Yeah, we can't what, have yeah, any bias. Right, so so you're so you gonna have to dunk over Shikari. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about over last. You handle the trophy. Nah, actually, you dunk over Shigari. Like, we <laughs> hand you the trophy. We don't even see anybody like, else. Right? <laughs> balancing a cup on your head too. No, nah, I had actually had something else in mind. Um, and then once I saw that Mike did the windmill, I was like, all right, let me just yeah, Mike um, do came, something. Came out. Yeah, he did. He Mike did. came out yeah. hard too. Yeah. Hard. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, nah. It was, uh, it was, it was a close yeah. dunk contest. I mean, everybody did their did they thing in the dunk contest, man. I, I was just happy that it worked out the way it did. Like, all of you guys were, were really amazing. The dunks were super yeah. dope. Like, I'm ready to get back to, to the fifth annual. Yeah. Right I'm ready, there, right? Just so you can get back. Because I told, I told her, Ron, I want, I want to do like a, a 24-7 series next year yeah, with, we're gonna the, do dope. With, the, with the with competitors the dunk that's going to be in the okay. dunk contest. Mm -hmm. So we look, we're going to make this thing even crazier for next year. Got to get an uh, HBO deal. Shout out to HBO, man. Mm -hmm. Let's do something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do something. I hear you. I hear Listen, you. Listen, man, we got we to gotta, gotta keep stepping it up, man. Yeah. Yeah, we, did, we did a great thing this year with the dunk contest. So... We got to get bigger and, and better for well, for next year and in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and Max, you, was there a dunk that you thought you were gonna do and then decided not to? Like I was, yeah. In the in the um in the final round, I was gonna do a 360 scoop, but then I saw Mike only did a windmill, so then I was like, yeah. All right, let me just try to do an East Bay. Um, but if Mike, I mean, I don't know, and I know Mikey, but I don't I don't know what else he would have done. <laughs> um, but I, I was thinking I was gonna have to bring out the scoop, but thank thank God I didn't, because that's not as consistent just yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mike, well, Mike, he impressed Mike impressed me too, because he shows his highlights, and it looks like they're LA Fitness rims too. Oh yeah, so like yeah, it yeah. looks like they're smaller rims. Uh huh. Yeah. But then he went out there and like. Yeah, no, no, Mike, Mike, he yeah, can really like, jump. Really Mike, like, can really jump. I've, I've been watching his, like, his Instagram, yeah. a lot of stuff he's doing, so he definitely has has hops. Yeah. So I. I he, I hope I hope he comes back uh, next year. Yeah, he should. Sure. I think next year that you two guys going at it again uh -huh. is gonna be crazy. Yeah. How mm -hmm. much practice is involved <coughs> with the with the with oh, each man. Dunk? Well, like, I mean it's it's a hobby, so um, I couldn't even put a number on how many hours I've spent, uh, you know, trying to dunk the basketball. But um, I've been trying to do it ever since I was like twelve or thirteen. I was nowhere close. The, the 360. At that age, what percentage of the time do you think you're landing at, um, at this point? Like 75. Like three out of four oh, times. Wow, so that's yeah. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. So yeah. if you needed that one, you probably yeah. But you still didn't want to risk a miss. Right. 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 At the, well, at that point, too. yeah. What's yeah. your favorite in-game dunk? Um, he caught some pretty good ones. He did. I uh, that's, why, yeah. that's why. That's yeah. why. Any dude on the second half. In, yeah. in game. In this game. Well, I saw. Yeah, you you had one during the charity game, but I'm saying in general, what's one of those that you like? Um, the first one, it wasn't even in game, but it was the first one that kind of got my name out there. Um, it was at a park outside and, um, I pretty much windmilled on somebody. And then, um, I woke up the next day. It was on Bleacher <laughs> Report. He didn't wake up the next day, but you. Nah, <laughs> I woke up. Yeah, he retired from basketball <laughs> that, that, that same day. He retired. So. No, nah, but, um, it went to Nickelodeon, um, wow. World Star, Bleacher Report, House of Highlights, Sports Center. Um, okay. um, I got to fly with my little brother to Ridiculousness, uh, where Jordan Clarkson and DJ Mustard were, were the co-hosts mm -hmm. nice. for that episode. And then uh, Rob Dyrdek did a little piece on that. Um, so, yeah, that, that is definitely the most well-known video. We got to find that clip. You gotta yeah, see that. Look, 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 I got it right yeah. here. <laughs> who who, who out of the celebs you, you guys think got the most game in this year's game? Uh, Filet. Well, I mean, he's, he's a basketball a, player. Yeah, Filet's nasty. So I mean, outside, okay, outside okay. you guys that actually play basketball, just the um, celebs. Oh, oh, um. Hmm. Y'all can both Maybe. Young, young Swag. Now, Young Swag. Yeah, but he, he, he plays ball too, though. 
He did he, in high yeah, school. Now you can tell oh, he played a little did, ball. Did y'all yeah. do a little dance? Well, yeah, no, but he was on Sports Center. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. He was on Sports Center. When he was in high school, he was on Sports Center for that, and he got a tech because he was dribbling and dancing, and they teed him up. I'm trying to think. What? I might have seen that. Yeah, we might have seen that. That's crazy. That you video. definitely, you definitely saw that. It was. Wow. It was. Um, <laughs> Who's better, Commodore or Fresh Out? That's, um, I think that's the question everybody wants to know. I think I think Commodore was Fresh Out. He played jail ball. Though. He played, yeah, he played jail ball, <laughs> he and played. he had that turnover. That matter of fact, that led into. Didn't he get dunked on from that? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he led into. He had to throw it, it off the glass it. to fillet. To fillet, and they. Threw and it out. then we got the rebound. Oh, you dunked it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he. Because I mean, I seen fresh. Then out. you th you yeah. threw it on him. Yeah, yeah, that's the dunk. So he he <laughs> I threw it off the glass. It got punched out. <laughs> And then White Iverson White got Iverson it, turned around, just threw, threw it up. Threw alley-oop yeah. to him, uh -huh. and he got dunked on. So, like, Fresh Y'all didn't have a good <laughs> attitude. Yeah, and, 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 you know and the free throws, throws was terrible. No, the free throws was just... Oh, my God. What was going on? Yeah. We, one of these, I don't, I don't know what was Yo, but shout out to him. He a cool dude, man. He's one of the areas, He's one of the, you know, one of the guys who really... I didn't have to tell him to post. I didn't have yeah, to hit him he's, up. He's he's very humble. Very humble dude. You know, we're gonna be doing a comedy show together pretty soon. I'm gonna do something with him. Um, yeah. Speaking of next shows, I have a next show on Monday. <laughs> we have a concert. Oh, I always got sign up his sleeves. Graph yeah, and even friends got on today. concert. So yeah, you guys Sheesh. can pass those on. Oh, oh, man. Man. You can keep Thank myself. you, bro. Now I'm saying, we got the Graph and friends concert. Uh, this Monday. All right, we're gonna have know, to pull up. Gotta do some H two H show music Slick stuff. Uh -huh. You know, I can't. Yeah, let we got we got one extra that. for the fans at home. Y'all hit us up on on Instagram, mm -hmm. and and we'll see what up. Who y'all can? But y'all you don't need those. You don't need well, yeah, tickets. You know what? Yeah, because you, know, you can just, give them out, man. We just walk in. We just walk up in the yeah, building. Yeah. <laughs> we walk it's in. different now. Yeah. Life so, is different. Ever since we started hanging out with Haran, they gave a chance. Don't even have to ask if we're on the list. They just don't walk right in. If y'all want those tickets. Y'all hit us up on Instagram mm -hmm. at Real Fan Talk. You tell us you want those tickets, and the tickets will be waiting for you guys. Want to make sure you, your name is on the list at Real Fan Talk, or you can hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Real Fans Real Talk, uh, or just hit us up on the website, realfansrealtalk.com. And while you're at it, get on that YouTube page, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash for the fans productions you guys can see the, the 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 full game is up there the dunk contest is up there so you can you guys can watch all of that plus the interviews with all of the individual dunkers uh the h2o mm -hmm. all of michaels mr commodore cayenne um miss new york shout out to miss new york she's going to be joining us in a couple of weeks as well on the show she came out to balling for peace um so just everything oh, just, just go on that uh on what yeah she's going to be joining us on the show in a couple of weeks so That's shout out up. to everybody that came out and if you guys do again at real fan talk hit us up on ig and um and those tickets are yours. You got to come. Graph, I mean, listen, it's Graph, yeah, man. Yeah, Chocolate yeah, Chat phone's yeah. still ringing. Yeah. Still ringing, yeah. ringing, ringing, ringing. <laughs> ring. So y'all better come out and stop playing, man. Shout out, shout out to my boy Johnny Flores. He actually came through. He's here, you know what I mean? He'll be performing on the uh, show. He's a Brooklyn a own. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be in the, in the building, too. If, if y'all haven't, uh, check out his uh, LL Cool Floss uh, series. Yeah. He got some dope uh, visuals out there, so y'all yeah, definitely check him out. He did some stuff with uh, Ladybug as, as as well. She's not here this week. I know y'all been hitting us up. Ladybug, she had she had a, another engagement she had to get to tonight, but she'll be back with us next week. Um, but definitely shout out to, to Johnny Floss. Salute. Um, Maxwell, you have something that you're working on now. Um, that I, I, I love. We spoke about this before we got on the air, but I really love it. Um, a, a new venture that you're starting where mm -hmm. you're basically helping athletes transition um, from after their career mm -hmm. um, into the next phase in their life. And I, I love that because a lot of times when we have athletes on, I ask them, you know, how are they preparing themselves for life mm -hmm. after their career in sports? So just kind of tell us about what's what up. you're doing with that. Right. So, um, yeah, the, the, the biggest problem in sports culture nowadays is, you know, that it's the unprepared athletes. So I have a lot of teammates. If you were to ask them, what do you plan on doing after you graduate or after you're done with ball? And then they're going to be like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, they don't have the skills that they need to to do what they actually want to do as far as a profession or a career. Mm -hmm. They don't know what resources are available. So that's pretty much what my company is looking to provide. Uh, but we're going to start as early as middle school to get the athletes into the habit and you know the mindset that you need to 
diversify yourself and not put all of your eggs in one basket mm -hmm. yeah uh, because that's that's how a lot of these people are falling is they're putting everything that they have into one thing which is you know obviously it's cool to dream but yeah you have to be a realist at the same time and understand that sometimes things just don't work out and if, even if you look at the percentages yeah um you know there's a lot of people most people do not make the league and then even if you make the I mean, league, look at the number of colleges in comparison to right. actual teams yeah. in the league so you right, know right, right. not going to make it colleges right. colleges and players so you have over four uh, yeah. close to 400 division one schools mm -hmm. period exactly. and that's just d1 yeah. d1 yeah. d2 d3 mm -hmm. overseas and yeah, yeah. there there's eight hundred thousand division one athletes um yeah and then and that, that's <laughs> only division one again um you're not really counting d2 d3 juco mm. yep um but financial literacy is going to be the other piece of what we're trying to provide mm -hmm. uh, because regardless of whether you actually make it as far as playing professionally or not you're going to need to have um, a certain foundation financially in terms yes. of the skills of you know investing saving things like That's that um but yeah the, the statistics are that on that are even you know more surprising like 78 percent of yeah. nfl players that retire go bankrupt at least once That's uh 60 percent um in the nba go bankrupt at least once after they retire so it's yeah it's really bad it's really bad so. and, and and not even just for athletes this is just you know for everyone we all need to we have have financial literacy we right. all need to understand you know you, you need a bank account right. you know there's certain things you, you know that, that people need to 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 know especially our youth um you know i work you know the kids that I that I teach. You know that's one of the things that we taught was financial literacy. Mm -hmm. We had all the kids go to the bank, set up bank accounts and whatnot. We had them in the stock market, took them down to Wall Street. Right. You know, so just just in general, our youth they need to be taught these things at a young age. Exactly. the 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 problem in a lot of underprivileged areas is like we don't get exposed to, to these ideas yes. or these things. Exactly. Um, sometimes ever. Yeah, like it, you don't get exposed until Later you know you have on. to learn by yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I live near Bronxville, New York, where you know their their kids know about this stuff from first second grade, and that's just because of um, how they grow up. But again, depending on where you grow up, everything is different. Yeah. Um, so. I know the trying to make it equal for everybody. About a, the right. Account, the stock, none of that. So you know, but the fact that you know, and and they'll be into it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, who don't doesn't want to make money? Right, right, right. But, you exactly. know, but when you're teaching them how to save and, and different things, you know, as opposed to, you know, Buying depositing your money in the bank year. as mm -hmm. opposed to going to a check cashing place yeah. and, and you losing that little bit of interest that they take off of, of your money when you cash your check at a check cashing place. So just little things like that that I, our youth needs to know. And there's a lot of communities where that's not being taught to our children. So I think that is an amazing thing, mm -hmm. you know, that you know, we, we as a whole, we just need to do more of that anyway. That's a fact. That's a fact. Absolutely. Now, that's dope, man. And especially with you being, you know, so young, you know, uh, what made you like think about that? Um, well, the name of the company is called The Finance Group. It's mm -hmm. F-L-Y-N-A-N-C-E. Um, but basically it, it kind of came from my individual story. Mm -hmm. So the name Finance, the fly part um, has to do with how I kind of wow. became known with the Duncan stuff and the Nance is because I'm a finance major mm -hmm. and um, you know I wanted to have a career in finance, mm -hmm. um, finance. and then I once I, I got somewhat of a platform on Instagram I was like okay well I have I don't know like 12,000 athletes that I could really reach and send a message to so what things do I want to try to change and then that's when I thought about the problems that I've been seeing as an athlete mm -hmm. and um, that's when I thought about finance which is basically integrating athletics and professional development together and um so yeah that's that's pretty much how i arrived at the idea and um have been working on it for about a year so i think in um do you watch have any of you watched shark tank yeah yes. yeah so um my school had their first shark tank event and they had some of the participants that um, were successful on shark tank as well as uh some some um, CEOs of, of different companies be the judges for my school's event. Um, there was 55 business plan submissions, eight of them were selected, finance was one of them, and then I ended up uh, winning the grand prize. So we won $5,000 in startup capital that was pretty much allocated to website development, registration as an LLC. Uh, we have a nonprofit arm as well. So it's, it's certainly been a lot, but um, they, they, I think I told you they mentioned it on ESPN. Yeah. During the dunk contest, so that was huge for us. Um, 
And then, you know, we got guys like Allen Houston, Sam Perkins, um, a, a bunch of educators behind us. So we're just trying to partner with as many schools in the county right now, in Westchester County, and then um, branch out from there. And then we're going to do summer programs, kind of like in like a camp structure yeah. uh, during the summer, and then um, eventually become nationwide. So that's well, definitely that's what we're do. keep us posted with that. You know, Absolutely. if we can help out, you let us. You know, Absolutely. let us know. You know, we'd love to to be a part of that because that's I, that is that, dope. It's definitely needed too because you know. Um, you know, I know for myself, after I, I graduated, you know, college, it's like, you know, you walk into your, your coach's office and there it's not even the same, like, you know, <laughs> vibe. It's like, you're <laughs> gone. Like, all right, you're uh -huh. done. Like, you know, so it's like. I got these new kids. Yeah, I got these new recruits. <laughs> right, and you're right, like, right. shit, dude. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's over. I led in yeah. scoring, coach. Like, you know, but, <laughs> you know, it's nothing. So, like, it's yeah. like that time. It's almost like some people can commit suicide from mm -hmm. that stuff because yeah. you really don't imagine playing ball from elementary, junior high school, high school, college. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then now you gotta like put your your whole life into an agent's hand, like you know what I'm saying? And like mm -hmm. here's my whole basket. You season. don't really know what to do, like you know, especially right. in college. You 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 train, you go to school, right? All day you got study hall, you got yeah. practice. Like your whole life is basketball, you know what I'm saying? And then you know and you don't know outside, outside and you don't know anything else. Right. So you don't it's know like what to this do with your money, that's a fact. who to have around you, not to have around you. Um, you know, one of the uh, you know uh, one of the friends of, of the show, uh, Aaron Davis, uh, retired uh, welterweight champ of the world. You know, we spoke to him and he was telling us how you know when he was fighting, he had some good financial advisors in this corner. You know that told him you know what to do with his money. So that now he's actually able to live off the residuals mm -hmm. of what he made in the ring. But there are so many fighters who don't do that, that. Don't, get that. don't yeah. do that and you know, out here just living well, well, well beyond their means. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> they don't realize at the time that, you know, once you stop in your respective sport, the money is not gonna be the same. Whatever mm -hmm. you do next after that, you're not gonna gonna get another $200 million, you know, contract. I mean, you know, certain things you could do, but for the most part, you're not going to get that kind of money again. But you're already out here. You didn't bought 25 cars. You got $10 million in jewelry. You know, you're the old woman and, you know, everything that you're doing. And people just don't know, you know, how to, to, to save money, how to, you know, invest in different things. They just, they don't know. So, you know, you see the 30 for 30 documentary and it's a lot of his friends and family taking advantage of them, too. There's a yeah. lot that goes on with it. But unfortunately, we're out of time. Make sure you uh, the finance group. I, I love the name. The yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we keep an eye out for that. It's definitely very important for for uh, what they're doing. And uh, thank you all for joining us for uh, the Alec Baldwin of Real Fans Real Talk, the resident <laughs> guest host. H2O, H2O yeah, for Max, our first ever slam dunk champion. Eric Sanchez and Trip Young. I'm Mark the Statman Skevich. Thank you all for joining us and have a good night. We'll see you next week, everyone. Shout out to Leanne, too. Had the, the ball flow tonight. True <laughs> story. Cool, man. Get out of here. Face facts. What up? What up? Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Is Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the latest. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the art. Cost. Even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified co-sign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Uh.